Hi. So here we are with uh, solved examples based on combinations. So the problem statement says, a man has 12 close relatives. He wishes to invite five of them for dinner. In how many ways can he invite them in the following situations? He has 12 relatives and he can choose any five and the order in which he is choosing actually does not matter. So that is why we are going to solve these problems using combinations. Right. So first situation is there is no restriction on the choices and if there is no restriction on the choices then he can actually select those five people out of 12 people is actually 12 C 5. Right. This will be the number of ways in which he can select five people out of 12 without any restriction. So the answer for the first part is 12 C 5. And the formula for NCR is actually equal to N factorial divided by R factorial divided by N minus R factorial, right? So this 12C5 will actually be equal to 12 factorial divided by 5 factorial multiplied by 12 minus 5, that is 7 factorial. So if we calculate the value of this, that will be equal to 792. So there are total 792 ways in which he can select any five relatives out of those 12 relatives, right? And now if we go to the next part, that is the second part of the problem, which says two particular persons will not attend party separately. So if there are two people who do not attend party separately, there can be two cases. One, you invite both of them. And the second case can be don't invite any of them or invite none of them. So in first case when we invite both of them in that case those two people will be there in the list of invitees and the rest three people can be selected from the remaining ten people and the number of ways in which you can select those three people out of ten people will be 10 C3. And this will be equal to 10 factorial divided by 3 factorial divided by 10 minus 3 that is 7 factorial. And this will be equal to 10 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 7 factorial divided by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 7 factorial. 7 factorial will cancel this 7 factorial. 3 1s are 3, 3 3s are 9, 2 1s are 2, 2 4s are 8. 4 3 is a 12 multiplied by 10 is 120. So there are 120 ways in which you can invite both of them and invite three other people. And the second case is you invite none of them. If you don't invite any of them, in that case you have to discount those two people whom you don't want to invite and then you select five relatives out of the remaining 10 relatives and that will be equal to 10 C5 and this will be equal to 10 factorial divided by 5 factorial multiplied by 5 factorial and this will be equal to 10 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 5 factorial divided by 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 5 factorial. This 5 factorial will cancel this 5 factorial. 3 to the 6 will cancel this 6. 4 to the 8 and 5 to the 10. And this will be equal to 252. So there are total 252 ways in which you don't invite any of them and there are total 120 ways in which you invite both of them. So total possible ways will actually be equal to sum of these two because these are the two cases out of which only one is possible. Either both of them will attend the party or none of them will attend the party. So since only one of these two cases are possible, we have to add the outcomes of these two possibilities to get the total number of possibilities. So the total number of ways in which those two people will not attend the party separately will actually be equal to 120 plus 252 that is 372 
ways in which you can either invite those two people together or you don't invite both of them right so the answer for the second case is 372 and then there is third case third case says two particular persons will not attend together so suppose if you have two relatives one called a and another called b and they don't want to attend the party together then there can be three situations first is don't invite both a and b second case can be invite a and don't invite b and third case can be invite b and not a right so in the first case when you don't invite any of them then you will have total 10 number of relatives out of which you can select 5 so this will be equal to 10 c5 and in the second case where you decide to invite a and not b then you will have one person named a on the list and the other four can be selected from the remaining 10 people you have already decided to invite a and not to invite b then you will have total 10 people out of which you can select any four right similarly when you decide to invite b and not a in that case also you will have total 10 c4 ways in which you can select four people out of the remaining 10 that means the total number of ways will actually be equal to 10 c5 plus 10 c4 plus 10 c4 right and if we calculate it this will be equal to the value of 10 c5 we have calculated earlier and it was 252 and the value of 10 c4 is 210 plus 210 right and this will be equal to 672 so there will be total 672 ways in which you can consider the third situation where two particular people will not attend the party together right so there are total 672 ways in which the third condition can be satisfied right so this is a solid example which is based on combinations so we haven't done anything very special we have just considered the situations and decided the calculations based on that right and here also we have followed the rule of and and so this is one solid example and after this we are going to take few more solid examples based on combination all of them are of different type so keep watching math smart and bye bye till then